Ah, I love this one. What are your unhealthy male tendencies or behaviors? What are your, um, yeah, so that's question one. And then have you found that you have had to unlearn certain things? How hard has the process of unlearning been? That's mm. a good question. Oh yeah, really good question. Um, I have a lot of unhealthy male tendencies. I just, sometimes I think I believe I'm better than other people. Mm. Like in the sense of, I, I, I don't, I struggle with listening when I've, when I've decided. Yeah. You know, mm. like, I um. believe, na, na so I yeah. really struggle with that. Mm. And I think I've even struggled with that in relationships where I've been told, you, you don't hear me. Kwanza kama kuna statement, mi usikia sana ni, you don't hear me. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Shida ni moja, ya yeah. maski yo. Oh, alafu na, after your statement, mi usema and overreact. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> you should watch, oh, oh. you should watch our... our no, I saw, I saw it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Ata nilituma kwa DM waone. Nilisema kumbe hii shida ni universal. Yeah. Hey, watch and see why I'm being stunned and overreact. Oh, oh, oh. Well, in some of your comments, you need yeah. to go to those comments. Misko kama mama of a jam. Me now, me misko kama Ben. I'm not on his side. I'm seeing a pig. Yeah, but um, I think that's one um, unhealthy thing about me. I, I, yeah. I don't. I'm not very good at listening, and mm. and I think a lot of it stems from thinking that as a man, mindo na mua, ona get mindo wa kusema. Like na believe me don't have to say my view to na even doesn't have to So I really, I, I've, I really struggle with that and listening to other people. Like my friends will tell you, Fidel doesn't lose. Mm. Yeah, he'll never lose. He won't accept. I love what I say. Oh, you are killing them. You have to stick with their shule. Have you found that you have had to unlearn certain things? How hard has that process of unlearning been for? Yeah, I've had to unlearn a lot of things, especially. I think the music industry has really helped me because I, I, I came into an industry that's very, um, yeah, it has everyone, mm. you know, like, and it's very liberal. Um, so it's, it's, it's the exact opposite of the setup I was used to because my setup was the church, mm. you know, was essentially, everything I did was in church. Mm. So that's, that's the set of rules I was used to following, following you know. Um, so I come into an industry that's very liberal, that has very different things from what I'm used to. Um, mm -hmm. People have different sexual orientations, things like that. I think mm -hmm. I've had to unlearn a lot of things from yeah. my upbringing and to accommodate people better and accept that this is, you know. Mm. Um, and, and, and I think, yeah, that, those are just things. You see, even those things like for self-care and everything. Yeah, yeah. I've had to unlearn thoughts like, Ati, so I think, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, great, great. Yeah. For, for unhealthy me, male tendencies. Yeah, yeah. unhealthy male tendencies. Number one for me is when I've set out a, a, a specific, specific goals, a mm. specific things that, okay, uh, maybe an agenda, this is what I'm working on. Mm. I really don't consider mm. any other party mm. that might be affected by any of my behavior mm. that, <laughs> that comes... That comes as a result. Be between me and your goal and my mm. goal. Yeah. I'm too yeah. toxic. Like yeah. me, Nico, like eh, me and I have to be looking at me. Me and I have to check me. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. It's a bad meal. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, as, and now these, you know, now from an aspect how it, that, you know, it, it affects how? me how I relate with, with, you know, a woman. For example, mm. if a mm. woman would come into my life at that particular point mm. or maybe try to even sway me from, Yeah, you know, the compromise is not yeah, there. Yeah, the compromise. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, struggling no, with the compromise mm. because I am no, going I there. Yeah. 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 Oof. Okay. Yeah. Oof. And then um, maybe an, uh, another thing which is I feel is not, I feel is not a destination. Mm. It's a work in progress. Yeah. It's just general vulnerability, you know, a way to be vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know, to, to, mm. to, um, you know, sometimes you're just like, even you in your head, there's that, there's that uh, voice that mm. I'm a man. Yeah, it's know? true. Yeah. It's true. Man, I'm going to, e, 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 yeah, you know, that's that's how yeah. it is. That's how it is. Crazy man. Yeah, but anyway, I was things that I've, uh, I'm, I'm unlearning. Learning, yeah. I'm very related to these things. You know, mm. I need uh, uh, like I know there are different seasons. Mm. The different seasons. I know this season I made a decision. I'm going towards this particular goal, and you know, if someone else comes out of out into my life at some point, mm. I'm just like this. Is the Someone else comes into my life at some point. I'm like, this is the universe, you know, it's yeah. working. And I'm now I'm in this season why there's someone yeah. else. I need yeah. to figure out yeah. how long are they here for? Yeah. What are they doing here? Yeah. And how can they? How can I make them yeah. comfortable around yeah. there? Yeah. 
And then the second thing is also the, uh, being intentional with being vulnerable. Mm. It's like, yeah. you know, um, I don't feel bad about it. Okay. Yeah. I just, it's, for me, I take it like communication. I'm yeah. making, letting you know, this is mm. where I'm at. This mm. is how I feel. Mm. So this is what it is. Right it's now. very mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for me, it's the same thing, vulnerability. Mm. It's taken me a lot of time to accept that. By the way, it's important to be vulnerable. Yeah. Even when you started doing like the Jared podcast. Yeah. Hey man, I used to avoid watching our shows. Do deep down, yeah. especially as you Twitter or something, my new mama and any, yeah. and then now you're working with your wife. Yeah. So sometimes it would it would make me feel like ah, it's so easy, nini, si wambi a say, you know. But later on, you come to realize it's a gift. It's a gift that God has given you. Not everybody can speak to people. Absolutely. And people would be interested in hearing. So yeah. don't kill your gift yeah. because of some small insecurities from some people. Yeah. So I had to get over that. Number two is that. I, I, bad to, ma, ma, male toxic that I've had is always trying to confront everyone who tries to disrespect me. Mm. This is in traffic, in life. Yeah. You know? Hey, yeah. uh, you know? I feel like you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, see, like you're talking about me. I have come a long way. Like, nowadays, I can, somebody can just do some... some stupid stuff in traffic and that is the jam. Like, where do you bamba, you know? Uh, or if somebody can say something so mean on the comment section, so mean, mm. I am like, ah, I need to let this one pass. Yeah, so disrespectful, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I really struggled with that also initially when I, like when I was starting my music career. Mm. Let me tell you the one thing about yep. being a musician, you're constantly on your comment section. Yeah. You're refresh YouTube. Always. Views, blaz, yeah. Always. Manze kuna msea na kuambia tu kitumba. Yani unashimda um simbo na ananyongelesha hivu. Yep. Kwa nini? Na kuna time nilu kwa zile za nata kureply. I love niko like, yeah. So I, I yeah. get that totally. Yeah. Is that, and, 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 yeah. and, and how that has, how I've worked it, how my marriage has helped me work on this mm. is that I've realized not every trigger that my wife tries, not everything that my wife... Not every move that my wife tries to make to annoy me should get to me. Sometimes I should just be able to conserve my energy yeah. and say this is not worth it. So zingine wana fanya intention. Ah, zinka wako ametumwa. Wako ametumwa. Kuna conference huwa tendu siku. Tukio tumelala. Maliza huyo Ben. Mbwa kesho za tatu na nusu. Tunataka tuomalizie kwa traffic. Mbwa kwa mbetu kitu tu unashangaya. 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 Mbwa kwa mbetu kitu tu learning to conserve my energy mm. to, to to save it for more important things yeah. imagine imagine so una ume, ume, ume unleash energy yako maybe kwa ni kangoma mm. kwa mse wanduthi jwali kuingia vibaya ama alikufanya yeah. some weird stuff kwa mse hata ajali like yeah, yeah. yeah. better ako high like yeah. hata hata ajui what's really happening yeah you know yeah, yeah. so that's that's for that's that's uh, it something you've that learned is, that's the thing, yeah, the vulnerability. Okay, 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 okay. And with vulnerability, I've come to realize that this is me. Same thing as Manasseh. Mm. This is just who I am. Yeah. This is where I'm going. And it also impacts a lot of people. Yeah. It, it's a blessing to so many people. Yeah. So yeah. I won't stop. I won't start limiting the yeah. gift that God has given me yeah. Yeah. so that I pre please a few haters yeah. or a few people who have insecurities yeah. yet there are more there's a this is like a 90 percent of people who really really like this yeah. like the way you say was yeah. because mama because of skincare you'd be shocked that there's there's also like 90 percent of dudes yeah. who come to check out what product they need yeah, to yeah, because you go buy on, for themselves those, yeah and yeah. there's a lot of dudes who dudes who actually struggle with skincare yeah, a lot of them in the DM. They are not mm. in the comment section because, because they're also afraid to be yeah, yeah. They're in the DM asking, "What can I do? I'm struggling with acne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My skin does not heal. Yeah, what um, do I do?" Exactly. Let, me, let me tell you, and it goes deep. Um, for example, when I so I used to, I don't want to say macho man, but I was th those kind of dudes who just be believed um, certain things were for men and others for. So I used to play rugby in high school. Yeah. Um, and I remember, so now after high school, I tried playing, but uh, I was in the training, 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 I was in the So like, I started singing, yeah. <laughs> like where but Ashka is the boots, let yeah. your guitar. <laughs> so you can are you saying already you can see where it's going, yeah? Nico <laughs> Bana Shindo. I love watching my show. Watch the the worst thing about my music career. I used to make fun of guys who used to sing in school. 
What? Ah, uh, nilikuwa naambia manzee mnafanyaje vitu za madema. Mm. Wanaume wanacheza rugby nyinyi mnaimba imba. Tewala. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got into a position. Now can you imagine nimemanza shule life kwanza imeni humble. Nimeenda rugby hata si najiangalia na wenye wakoko na realize hata siwezi cheza nao. Then I start singing and every day I'm like hey. And let me tell you, do you know how many people make random comments to singers? Hey, is it vitu zenu za madema wa mna feel aje? Yeah. Wacha ndio mbe kurespond to your stuff wanga difficult uko tuzileza umse ana maanisha ni Yeah wait this is not something that actually happens I, no My guy I swear to god Wait what do you mean People still come at me and like I just need to do some damn but mna do poa Wait what Yeah there's there's a lot of dudes who don't mm. like if you're a dude in music should be a rapper or something yeah. like that These really people who actually this. believe that Yeah Let me tell you there's a lot of dudes who don't think and they they listen to your music and be like it's dope music but they're like I would never do that Even just just look even look at the market just look what? at yeah. the consumers yeah. People, you, yeah. even people like in Abien and people yeah. who listen to soulful music, you yeah. find most of their fans are female, not men. Yeah. And, and, the, and, 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 and the men who listen sometimes can be chinia maji, chinia and, maji. And let me, let me be honest with like you guys. Like, if you get into something and I could blast you. For real. For real. For how many comments are, uh, when gay, Jew, Nayimba. People, you people, people tell you that. Guys. This is, any singer in this country will be told, it will tell you, they've been told once or twice Yeah. That they're gay or they're weird. We are, no mama. You know, no mama. That's the last thing. See, I'm That's the last thing I would hey, think about. You're really on the innocent side of it. No, 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 like, seriously. Bro, yeah. you I know, told you. The, the, his, his comments, they are more on my page than his yeah. page, I would yeah. think. Because, yeah. you know, the skincare. Yeah, yeah no, for stuff. sure. Because when your videos go viral on TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, like, a song like Mario Twice, like, a lot of people are like, you know, Mama Gani. Like those things oh, happen. Made, uh, being a singer, let me tell you, I don't think men look at other singers like as proper, proper men. Like the way, let me, and, and this one, That's I know, let, yeah. me, let me give you an example that you might, yeah. might make more sense, yeah? yeah? Men will respect calligraph more than they'll respect Bien. Yeah. As a man. But when you know music, Because he's you, a singer and he's a he's rapper. A rapper. Hiyo ni ndume ya calligraphy na feel manly na kasirisha ina ina ka eh yeye ni OG yeah. alafu bien anapanda stage anasema vile inauma mm-hmm. yeah you know like people respect that more right. dudes dudes don't think a man should be crying like that mm. But oh, now the yeah. beauty of also having now yeah. a lot of female fans is that yeah. female fans are loud, bro. Oh, like, loud. No, no, yeah. like, you, you drop tickets. Yeah. Like, yeah, selling stuff to dudes is hard, oh, yeah. But generally, <laughs> generally, basically, the point I was gonna make is it gets it got to me a lot earlier. Oh, yeah. mm. It really yeah. got to me. And yeah. now for the longest time, and you see, I was at a place in my life where I, I think I had a lot of toxic masculinity. Also. Yeah. Mm. So those comments really oh, meant some, especially from yeah. rugby. You know, yeah. Yeah. So nilikuwa nimetoka rugby. Manzi na hiyo ni game ya testosterone. Kwanza hapa Kenya ukienda hapo KRF level na mambo piga tu manduru. Alafu tulikuwa tuna do hackers. Manzi na sudden sasa na panda stage na anza ku. Manzi so people make comments like that I'm struggling with toxic masculinity and then yeah. dudes are telling me how I'm not a man because I'm singing. I wanted to quit music. I didn't want to sing. Me wacha niambie mimi mara mingi nimeambia say I wish I was a rapper. Mm. I wish I, what one manze ukimba watu wanaona anga tu wewe hata si mwanaume <laughs> tricky yeah. parts yeah. but also but also it's very hard for rap to go mass it's very hard for rap to go yeah. across the country yeah pia hiyo ni ukweli singers 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 bro, yeah. singers uh, they traverse the country <laughs> like na me used to be a rapper Yeah. Kitambo, si tuliko tuliko na gadi wapi? Yeah. Ah, mimi hiyo rap leo na ni ngumu, you do so much. You get so little. Eh, hey. na jondo wende wapi pia wewe ni hapa. Yeah. I will never go back to that. I will never go back to rapping yeah. again. Yeah. Si wambi wala watu wajui wapi ni wapi wajui. Yeah. Oh, wapi? Wapi was a <laughs> yeah, event? But, uh, wapi was a rap was a hip hop event that used to happen at British Council. Na ilikuwa ngatu na wanaume. By the way, you are punge para ruma dem ka wili. Wanaume wamevatu bimba. Are you seeing the point? Are you Everybody seeing the point? Everybody is just rap. Are you seeing rapping. men will will gravitate <laughs> more to that? Yeah. Mm. But hata kuja show ya charisma manze. But my dem wata just show ya charisma. Si si tunakuja. Ni kweli. That is what. Who stand is it? Have you ever felt the uh, pressure of being buff? Oh, to be buff. <laughs> Have you ever felt the pressure to be buff? Also, <laughs> Um just you know aside uh, the other part of the question is do you feel intimidated around bigger or buff men? Well, unataka kwanza. Acha ni answer. Charisma already. Charisma already I shall point. No no answer. Nasema charisma alichakwa intimidated na ile guitar. When he went for rugby. 
and guys were so big. He was like, so where is the cheerleading team? Unona yangu yako six foot three. Let's go. Let's go, Manasi. Yeah. I mean, there's this thing generally about you know being buff. Yeah. Being buff, you know, it's just you know. It's put in this box where it describes, you know, a sexy man, a good looking man, mm. you know, um, you know, say I got a six pack and I attract more. Yeah. You know, and you know, um every man wants to attract. And when mm. when we talk attract, we're talking about the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, for the longest time through my twenties in my shituna, a certain body goal of Korea man say, Mimi. Mimi I'm work in progress. Mm. Sasa niko hivi lakini najua najua mali na nataka na, 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 sijai kuwa comfortable in my body yeah. for the longest time. Okay, the, the thing that really helped me is because I was not chubby or big. Mm. I had a lean, lean frame. I've always had a lean frame. Mm. So but I was just like man I'd like to get buff. I'd like to get a certain mm. physique. Yeah. 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 And man every time I was amongst people with that physique, yeah. I felt like well, you know, I think that, that could be me. I always felt like I am whole and I'm I am solid. I felt I was talented. Mm. I felt like I was good looking. Mm. I felt like I um, I was very articulate. I would speak myself my thoughts uh, clearly. Yeah. But I felt like that thing was a missing uh, you know part Le- of the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. And then you know, and then um uh for 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 various reasons I would start working out I work out 3 months and then give I up stop <laughs> no change again three months, small change small like change, this and then I stop I've always very been inconsistent mm. yeah. but guys um I guess the timing is just right because this year mm. is a is a year you know um after now I st- okay that's not public knowledge but mm. yeah. <laughs> after I changed a few of my ways mm. and then now I st- I started and now I started working out religiously Mm. And like this year I've just been working mm. out properly. Oh really? And I am I am I have the best body mm. I have ever had in my life right now. Mm. Nice one. I'm so happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so I think it's a thing. Yeah. It's an actual thing. So yeah. yeah. Cuz see also how men also get excited also about our bodies. It's not just a women thing. Hey. Oh, yeah. You know, that story of Madame but yeah. Men go women. fearfully and wonderfully made. Acha na show kid akuna se oni boka se wa gym. Anyway, yeah. So I used to stay with my bro and then so he had like his friends yeah. So they used to go to the gym every day. <laughs> Alafu wanarudi wana sweat alafu wako tu. Na mimi niko hapo nimekaa nikula mbaya mbaya. Nikaanza kutafuta energy. Nikasikia tu ah wacha tu niende. Una get? Alafu wameanza kukapoa mkono manzee wacha ni washow. Walikuwa na kamomo anafanya hivi mkono zinafanya. Alafu yangu nikifanya ni mbao tu. Nothing. So like there is pressure now i've always loved my like i genuinely don't have a pro, like i love my mute to a shady stage and keep perform yeah all mean up and angle yangu but me feel secure about my body until i meet buff men they really i do, like me, i'm a tall man mm. taller men na go like eh mbona ni mrefu hivi manze is a stuff ebu manasa so manasa is both eh manasa you both eh una ni bo na go angle na jina nini mbaya na umse When I get like those things really intimidate I'm not even lying yeah eh juice man then me kono kelo max to look on perform he's also tall yeah okelo ni mrefu so time flani amepita mbele yangu na sasa yeye anaenda gym kwanza umse alipanda stage kwa set yangu akaambia madam look at my back That's so disrespectful. Ba- back yangu ni non existent. Unaambia <laughs> <laughs> DJ uh, security warusho jamaa hii. Ah, jamaa nje shida ni anatoshana na security. Oh, anyway, so like he was on stage anaimba nikapita nyuma yake nikasikia shadow. Nilifeel too shadow juu yangu. Mm. Hey. Golaya. <laughs> After <laughs> five stones. Nikapita kwenye nikaje ambia hata jana nilikuwa nasema hata mimi naenda gym haki. Mm. Siju nataka. Mm. Pressure. But then me acha niambie kweli if I go to the gym I'm not doing it for myself. Yeah. I'm doing it for other people. Nataka nionwe. Yeah. Nataka uonwe. Eh, nataka demo nionwe nifurahie. Napiga tu nduru. Yaani 
Na kio ni mbaya. Mine mine is just like Manase. I think uh, me I was never insecure about anything. Mtoki la mtu hapa ni wa gym. Eh, muenda gym. Yaani hakuna hata Basata mimi. Tunofinya. Mine was um I I was never insecure about how I looked. Mm. Never insecure about how I spoke. Mm. But I was always insecure at how small I felt. Yeah. I love people to kick any place or sound as Ozana. I can't do much other than shout. I was very vocal, you know. <laughs> other than be <laughs> the <laughs> mouthy <laughs> one. Nini? <laughs> Nini? So so I've always wanted to tick off that uh working out thing. Mm. And I'm and I started this year. Congratulations, then I some changes. Bro. Actually, it's, it's a bit expensive when you're starting because some in Mulipa gym and I still pay for a trainer and I have to get a professional trainer so that I get the yeah. hang of it and I know I have to do it for a long time. So big buff? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I have to be we have to be buff and you get intimidated yeah. when you meet other buff men, of course. Absolutely. 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 100%. Absolutely. But I also notice when you're buff, yeah. Uh most people who will notice are 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 are, are men. Mm. Most people who notice that are, are fellow men. Mm. Ladies do notice, of course, but yeah. like, uh, and even when you go to the gym a lot, you tend to notice now men who also work out a lot. Yeah. So you are easy to ask them what what routines are they doing. Yeah. Apart from noticing, mm. is the respect. The respect. The, they, that's the actually respect the word. That's the word. Yeah. Because they know. Let so no na charisma when you kill Max, I'm on the stage. We are big and duro. I'm big and duro. We are DJ. Men know how to do this because it is really tough. It's not easy. <laughs> For you yeah. to make any stride. But honestly, to, I tried like different. me kwanza me ni skin me ni try hadi kukula manze. Bro, let me tell you. Ina kata discipline too. Uh, discipline too. Discipline gani sana kule nini? Wewe na kuonesha. Na kuunda kuonesha dinga. Na kuonesha nutrition. Nutrition. No, let me tell you like all my friends yeah. are, like I eat a, because I eat. I'm not I don't eat more carbs or protein. Bro, mimi kula tu chakula. You see, you see that means already you can't monitor. <laughs> you could have food. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, I don't like So yeah, that's a good question. Like in the energy I go to Pelego Abi. Stage. Yeah, he has a lot of energy on stage. Yeah, yeah of, absolutely I see that, but yeah. yeah. Mbaka yeah. nimeanza ku believe this stuff ya dreads na kondesha nga watu. Yeah. Nime choose but I'm just deciding to stick to that story because ain't no way this is my life. Well, are and you uh, are you ever going to shave your dreads? Okay, so sir, see the muscles that are capable to grow new. Okay, at least with Costabili, with Costa Zote, at least. Una jambe de kitu moja mimi shenye watu nayo. Kwanza ndio cheri kuambie. Kama uko na kihara, oh I will be a nuisance to you. Yeah. So I uh, this is yeah. the one. Let me have something, bro. Plus I feel like being buff is one of the things you can control about your body. It's one of the things you have the power. The power you, control, you have the yeah. power to either add it or reduce it. It's Absolutely. that that power yeah, lies yeah. on you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. For me, the highlight for even being The, the highlight for working out mm. is is how you feel when ah, you work out. Ah, for 100. It's not even is 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 the the you see the look the look you get the build mm. the build rather is is a uh, is delayed gratification. Mm-hmm. In a coming after a yes, long so time. Pain. When the gym three months lazima ko philosopher bana. Ah, see, but I want me play on fear. Yeah, I was yeah. just gonna feel. say. That's true. Lazima ko philosopher. Who started is it? It's you. Mine. Okay. Yeah. Uh proper grooming for a long time has uh may have been considered metrosexual and and to be metrosexual at the time wasn't manly but it seems to be more accept- acceptable now. What elements of grooming do you partake in? Pedicures and manicures. <laughs> Facials. Skincare routine. So let's start. So what do you partake in? Uh charisma. <laughs> What do you partake in, in, in the, the three of no, pedi- I, I was just like I hope I'm yeah <laughs> pedicures and manicures like <laughs> two things I'm one thing washing my face aha uh-huh, okay so uh, you don't no, do facial I mean, you don't do skin care no it's okay no I, I i do it's not something that i'm actively i actively do like itakuwa once by the yangu nakuna force wangu tuna brush na mbonga kapo na kwa cucumbers up in manze si si kupenda kwangu sana okay mm. So facials under 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 gun threats and uh, what about pedicures and manicures? Tunaweza ndakwa manasi. Ah sema tu kweli ala. Me cut my nails. You cut your own nails. Yeah. Okay, so you don't do pedicures and manicures. Bro, and I'm, I'm I'm just and this is just <laughs> this is just personal opinion. Like I genuinely feel like those things take too much time mm. that I'm not willing to like see na your miss 
Kwanza hiyo stuff ni shai duyo nika cheka the whole time nika sikia ibu. When they were tickling you. Hiyo right? <laughs> <laughs> stuff na chekesha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I just normally feel like sina hiyo time manze. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, mm. uh, manase? Guilty. Oh, of all of them. I'm guilty, yeah, Saeed. Guilty. 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 Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. I do, f- f- well, it's been a while since ni funny facials, but yes, facials. Ato wofo si wana wife? Apana. Saeed, eh, Saeed. Oni kukunda kwa ku? Eh, Saeed na penda. Nice. Skin care, facials, pedicure and manicures once in a while senye. Yeah. Senye ule demo kinyozi ya meningi za box sana. Um, Kuna time wana... Me, I think the thing with pedi, like, especially those ones, it's just like, um, I want someone I trust. Mm-hmm. Me nili feel judged by many of your stuff. Eh, nili check how I say on anza kuni judge man. Yeah, Naweza connect na mtu anaweza. Eh, kuni. staki mse mwenye <laughs> ime feel poor na check her alafu ananiambia acha kufanya. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Carisa. I'm telling you me there's even things like just what is it called waxing. Eh, mm. the reason I can ne- I'm very happy. Okay, now that one I would never do because it's I feel the I can't handle the pain. Let me tell you, women are strong, bro. I can't handle the pain. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, and the and I just want someone who will feel safe. Up. Eh? <laughs> 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 no, seriously, we'll go out to I was in chest. No, it was my chest, but just my chest. Yeah. But let me tell you, so I, one of the reasons I don't go back for those things, and it's just like the money and the bread. <laughs> you see, feeling is safe. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. I was stay while you go and you check and back when I can't go flow. Yeah. Now me ask you, chungu for real. Yeah. We can do your stuff. Mm. Like, see, like, truthfully, we say we behave with Dani. Yeah. Okay. I don't check up with his own money. My pay him. Say I behave. Nika we see man on me turn. Ah. So, so wait. I'll go and go. Hey, na do you bo? I love when I just na madrid him back and na madrid is again a thick. Na kam sani wa reggae. I love when I pick up my high notes. Like, hey, but na chronics rada. Okay, nice one. So, what do you think? Um, what do you think has happened for you for you to be able to do any of these things without uh, comfortably without feeling less of a man? It's go comfortable. <laughs> Manase? Oh man, me, I just like how I feel. It just mm. makes me feel good. Like I, when I take care of myself, mm. man, it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel in my in my mind I feel like I'm putting myself as a priority. Yeah. Yeah, like Kwanza, I get out there. I, I feel well taken care of. I feel better. Mm. Yeah, and I feel like I'm in a place to, you know, even deliver more for myself. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the only goal. That's the only reason why yeah. I'm in it. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel like sometimes it's hygienic and then it also cuts saves a lot of time. Because, for example, when was the last time Ningumu unipata ni kikata kucha za migu? So, not unless the lady at the barber shop really insists. That's when they will be cut. Like, I will never, <laughs> like, just sit randomly in the house and just start buffing my own nails, you know? So, mm. I find it convenient and it's, mm. it's cleaner, mm. hygienic. Makes yeah. me also feel good. So, yeah. Who's next? Uh, uh, they're there. Oh, Ziko Karibu. Oh, they're almost that. over, What's man. What's the if it was a ma- as an in self-care? <laughs> We needed one person to take one for yeah, the team. Nasikia kana chukua all the hits. <laughs> and hii yangu ni L- composition my god. No 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 no. This is the last one. Oh. This is the last one. Oh. Yeah. Bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you think makes ma- makes or made masculinity toxic? Uh, part A. Environ- uh, environment you grew up in, society norm at the time, and then do I just do the whole thing? So there's there is a legal principle as ex post facto or retroactive laws. An ex post facto law is a law that retroactively changes the legal consequences or classification of actions that were, com- hey, Bana, form, <laughs> that were committed before the law was enacted. In essence, it means that you cannot punish someone for an act that was not illegal at the time it was committed, if the, even if the act has since been made illegal now. Based on what culture and society was, do you think there, that there may be any application of this in the sense that those acts uh, that may have been committed were not illegal then and therefore should be pardoned? Mm. Mm. Okay, let's go with the first question. Yeah, so the first question was, um, uh, what do you think makes uh, or has made masculinity toxic? The environment you grew up in, society norm, uh, or society norm at the time. The environment that I grew up in, mm. the environment. Because, okay. you know, me, I grew up in the hood, so there's a way men are supposed to behave. Yeah. So you're supposed to be a yeah. tough in a certain way. But mm. the climax of it all was high school. Mm. And I think high school, high school is what shapes or breaks a lot of men. The cultures we pick there are the cultures people 
tend to because I see even how how people behave even on 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 sometimes on on social media, and I see the same behavior. I can I can trace it back to yeah. to high school people. Those are public high schools. The boys uh, only. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Boys schools, high schools. Mm. It's crazy, you know. Yeah. Um, I love to you could even like cover glorify my name. Ah, yeah, up here, like even a chick wouldn't pass. Like, let's say just a young chick passing through. My boy won't get gathered around on a scream on a pigandur. That was like so normal for us. Like, for people to pass through, they had to wait for us to go to class. It's like we were animals, you know. So, it was it was wild. So, I'd say it's the environment that I grew up in. Mm. Mm. For me, it, it would have to be maybe. The society, mm. yeah, um, maybe things that have been "quote unquote" imposed through mm. the journey, things that now and in the in the recent past I've grown to like unlearn and mm. drop. Yeah, but I don't. I really don't think it would be the, the environment yeah. I grew up in for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it's a little bit of both because the society. Uh, the environment I was I, I I grew up in basically was influenced a lot by the society, mm-hmm. you know, like just societal values of what a man should be and things like that. Like really imparted, like where I where big thing where I grew up, you know. Mm. So like those things, like um, a man shouldn't do this. You see, those are societal norms. But then they were constantly reminded a man shouldn't cry. I was constantly reminded in the environment I grew that up you in. Grew up you in. know. So I think for me, it's a it's a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think mainly where I grew up in, uh, where I grew up, because that's that's literally all I know, or most mm-hmm. of what I know. Mm-hmm. So I think essentially that would be the mm-hmm. answer. So the mm-hmm. second, but uh, where did but, you grow up in, with your charisma? Eh, Mali Mingi manze. Me ni me grow up in Slando, ni me kuwa kare ni me. Yani me dunia ni me chaza ping pong na life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, so that the question is the one that I yeah, don't yeah, really uh, understand. Yeah. Yeah, basically, ab- do you think that there may be an application of this in the sense, what I read, in the sense mm-hmm. that those acts that may have been committed were not illegal then uh, and therefore should be pardoned? Um, yeah, and, and I think this, this is an re- um, interesting question for me because, you see, online, those debates for, for example, something you tweeted in 2008. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and, yeah. and someone, um, like what happened with Kevin Hart? Yeah. Tweeted something back in the day, someone brought it up. And at that time, no one had a problem with it. But yeah. in 2023, it's a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Sh- um, it. And then they, they, they insist that you are the same yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they crucify you for yeah. it. Um, I, I think it's difficult. It's difficult because where do you draw the line, you know? Um, but what I'll say is, I think there has to be an air of understanding. Like you, we need to understand people a bit more because these things are not easy to um, to understand. Teaching an old dog new tricks is it's not a, it's not an easy thing to do, you know. Mm. Um, so I think it, yes, I don't want to say a uh, pardoning on any. I just think people should understand pe- people a bit more. Uh, for example, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes out there. Even when we talk about the self care thing, yeah, mm. it's not. It's just they need to get to a space where they understand it. And it needs to be said to them a bunch of times and for them to be made comfortable to understand this, this thing is actually a thing that is done and it, has not, it doesn't affect your manhood. So I don't think pardoning is the word, but I just think people need to understand people a bit more. I think in this world, people are, in this liberal world we're in right now, everybody wants people to be a certain way now, regardless of where you grew up, yeah. where you came from. We want you to... At this very point in time, mm. um, you see, for example, what I said, for, I, I was very homophobic growing up mm. just because of where I was raised. My mm. dad is a pastor. I, like, I mean, you can imagine when you grow up in a household that has a pastor, there's, you don't talk about those things. It's mm. not even an issue, you know. Mm. Um, so you find someone like me who's, say, 25, that's, all, that's the environment they've known their whole life, and then you're coming to them then and trying to tell them, no, 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 you have to be like this now without understanding. Pion say... For the past 25 years of his life, he's mm. had to, you know, this is all he knows. And yes, that person needs to be compassionate to everyone else. Yeah. And not be an idiot to people who are not like him. Mm. But also, it, it will also take a lot of time for them to understand. So I, ch- I think just from both parties, understanding mm. each other mm. is very important. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, I'm, I'm, I get where he's coming from. Mm. Yeah. I really, I really understand it. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with that as well. Mm. Yeah. Um, 
we need to understand people more. Yeah. We need mm. to, we would maybe give people more grace. More grace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, we just need to give people more grace, yeah. but I wouldn't say also like Yeah. You know, people should 100% be pardoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, th- I don't think it's also a license to be now for the person being given the grace. It's yeah. not a license to be rude yeah. mm. and be mean to people who are not like you. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just it's very difficult sometimes to assimilate things you're not used to. You know, maybe maybe if I've gotten this question yeah. right. So yeah. if if you had to give an example, are you, mm. are you saying like something like the R. Kelly story? I'm a like. No 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 no. 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 So no. the situation yeah, is yeah, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Uh, uh, yeah. Yo, 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 it doesn't matter the time. Yeah, hey, <laughs> yeah. Any yeah. So it's a situation where there's something that you, you that you've done now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And which was which is not exactly illegal. Mm. Yeah. And then and then few years few years down the line, mm-hmm. that thing is actually yeah. made ah, illegal, illegal by the law, okay. you know, by yeah. the country, and it's now mm. illegal, yeah. and mm-hmm. you're not are supposed to do that. Mm. And, la- and now let's let's say a file of you doing that thing comes out. Comes out. Mm. Nobody knows when the, the time frame. Oh, People yeah. are just now. Okay, Judging, you know, you're being yeah. crucified for it. Yeah. yeah. Know, so should you be pardoned? Yeah. And I think to put it, <sighs> yeah. let me let me add some content, and maybe Baraka will will help with. Uh, as, I don't know if I'll, I'll botch this whole thing, yeah, okay. but mm. you see, so in the context of so you're, you've been homophobic all your life, mm. yeah. Um, now we're in 2023 where homophobia is not a thing. Like you can't just talk the mm. way you would talk 10 years ago. Yeah. So you're still in that space, but the situation has changed. Has changed, yeah. Like it's not, uh, is that, is, is that uh, near, yeah? Mm. Yeah, basically okay. the situation is not the same, but the, the issue is, okay. is similar. Makes sense. I, then definitely, I think we need to look at the times and extend yeah. people grace. We can't yeah. hold people mm. sometimes because people people change in different seasons. Yeah, I mm. uh, remember, like 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 even on Twitter, for example, there are people who are so nice nowadays. But Kitambo, you know, Twitter was very brutal. Kitambo, say yata na a bit fifty fifty. Kitambo it was. Say ni poa. Hey, Kitambo ilikuwa brutal. Mazoe sawa ilikuwa na chongo ananga when yeah. when some of my homies were still like big fish mm. over there were like well, called the biggest guys yeah. there, mm. Kina Murumba and all. Mm. So, but but later on, when you see people, also they've changed. They no yeah. longer believe in some of those values. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think we should accord people. Yeah, because if we imagine we talk a Western manuria. For me, I just feel like that's like that's an age thing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, those guys were younger then; they yeah. didn't care about Ka much. Can you imagine yeah. we talk a Western? We talk a manuria. Oko, alafu all of a sudden, we come to values. Plan is an Nairobi. Now, what we want to talk change now, now, now. Mm. I think it's important to extend <laughs> people. Yeah, yeah. So I have a question here. Okay. Maybe this we start with charisma. <laughs> have you ever been in a fight? <laughs> Don't you disrespect <laughs> my love. No, <laughs> no, no, my guy. <laughs> no, I don't think that was, that, that was not. That's a the fight. question. That was, that no, 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 no. Who has said anything about okay. anything? Yeah, wait. That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Actually, number sixteen is: Have you ever been in a fight? Uh, no, personally, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had, person. like, I've never even been engaged in physical altercation. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been in a fight, Manasseh? Oh, yeah. I was in high school. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I, New fight. I, yeah. <laughs> 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 I for real, Karisma. Okay. To attend at an, no, not even. Okay. No, let's, not talk about the the past, <laughs> let's not talk about the past two years or three years. Have you ever been in a fight, even if it's Kitambo? Huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think you need to I think you need to read the question in, in Swahili. You know, really, you part B. Really Have you ever been in a fight? <laughs> you know, Bigana. <laughs> no, it has part B. <laughs> no, 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 it is. Because the first question is, yeah. have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. How many fights have you ever been in? Uh, What's the best thing about fighting? The best. What's the best thing? Actually, about me, I have a, I have an answer for that. Okay, let's yeah. go. Bro, so I've I have been in a fight. How many fights? <sighs> Maybe, maybe you, maybe for independence, yeah. you know, union. Just a, a bunch. Bunch of fights. Yes, You've been a, a bunch of you fights. Know, I've been in a bunch of fights, yeah. Mm. Um, honestly, one good thing about, and violence is not the answer, guys. Don't fight. Mm. Um, just a disclaimer. Back in my fighting days, the thing I used I to feel. MMA, yeah? Yeah, after fighting is, <laughs> let me, watch an ambe wanaume. When I'm at a show, I'm feeling like i fight, alafu am win. Mm. <laughs> feeling ni tamu. Mm. People are talking for you. Mm. Hey, Sparta. 
Alifanya yeah so that's the only that feeling for eh yeah. naliwe okay. funzo okay okay yeah. Okay. What about you Manase? Lebuzo kwa ngoro. Wengine wenye tabia kama zango. Yeah. Have been a fight? Yeah, I was in a fight in high school, man. Mm. Yeah. I don't even remember what the fight was for. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I just remember Okay, growing up, growing up my dad was really really against physical mm. um, you know, getting physical with people. Mm. Yeah. And he used to tell me you can easily be the best fighter in the world you can be the best fighter in the world but the the weakest person mm. will just do one thing in that fight yongu mi moje kupate tu poa yongu yo moje kupate at the wrong place mm. and then Outspleen. and then you you might just win you will mm. win the fight yes but you'll have a scar the world remind lost the battle you. yeah you know for yeah so i've always really avoided mm. never but so in high school you know you get a teenager mna pima na nguvu yeah so that really happened in high school so yeah. I, I got into a fight and i felt so bad about it after. Mm. yeah Yeah there's those so even me I'd say in high school of course and then you feel so bad after yeah, you feel like so this was not worth it yeah. especially calling your rosho home see so kwanza, you feel like kwanza, kwanza you sisi, feel like this was so unnecessary to fight ana to fight sana tukatonisho alafu <laughs> alafu teacher on duty alikuwa na kama katuona so tukaenda tukachapo proper tukalimo vizuri yeah you must have been going to feel bad after yeah because you see me I was a cop Mm. So this one time I'm trying to tell this guy to do something. Now um say I'll comment after for a while, mm-hmm. you know. So he's trying to be rebellious in front of guys, yeah. yeah. So no that's when a senior. Na mi na mi in the choir of course ni nini ni kwa state. Like also on Jua. I love peniko class here was say was say to a Rui. So I'm telling this guy to do something he refuses to do something. So I, I we got into this fight. Na kumkatu ni kimnyonga kama cut angle ile kwa so mshikilie shingo hivi. And it was such a like it was not a satisfying feeling after. I think you you're weird. You're feeling, no, you're I'm bad I'm now. just saying No, like, don't feel bad. It's like, I, I'm not feeling bad. I'm just I'm trying to understand you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I I didn't enjoy. It. The other time we yeah. fought was at, at some time when we were, we were still gigging. We went for a show and this this promoter Kahepa na do yetu literally. Mzee, mm-hmm. tulikuwa too young and foolish. Eh, hata mimi time zangu za kufight. Gomchapa. Yeah. Tulikuwa wengi. Mlichapa eh. promoter. Sipia alikuwa na wasi wengi. Sasa oh, like amefanya madharao. Hata ametukataza kuingia event na tushafika. Anyway, so I just, think so I fought a lot and I think as you're saying it's a thing especially when you're younger you just feel like that's the one way to deal yeah. with everything. Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Danganya I mean high school na a, a little bit like before I started uni and a bit of uni and that's why I really struggle with I do, I'll be very honest the one thing I hate is disrespectful people I hate hate this because I don't I'm always like why mbono umeniona tu ka decide uni disrespect like hakuna hakuna kitu nimekudia like manase uni check it tu na mwanze Yeah. When I get so I get I, I really get triggered mm. when people disrespect me. Um so when especially when I was younger nilikuwa at me hata nilikuwa nashikwa na makarao Jaiso Shida because in any bo na me uko sana hadi na police. Basically unasema any trigger yani. It triggers me yeah. so bad even cops. So there's something there you need to also work on. Yeah maybe yeah. trauma. They, they know I'm not, not maybe <laughs> If, if it's a trigger point yeah, no, then it, that means it's, it it yeah. runs deeper than you yeah, think yeah yeah i don't yeah. like it so but, yeah i don't I, i didn't like it at all and that's why i'm saying so what what used to happen after is i'd be like eh umelan sasa usiwe ni jaribu tena uh yeah but the squeezy uh, me of late sijawe sijakuwa na altercations yeah yeah kuna hizo ni that's a good thing that's a way, good yeah. best yeah. way to live like you're doing really well so the question is uh, yeah. have you heard of the term sassy man mm-hmm. Uh, send definition what are your thoughts women across the internet have long dreaded the sassy men apocalypse whether it is men using full stops during arguments giving their partners the hard shoulder or trying to have this last say with a comeback women have flocked to our socials to lament but as always the terms repeated use sometimes re- revealed a more insidious undertone where men were labeled sassy for mere self expression and parking it further on the Wun Me Bello podcast Dami spoke about his feelings concerning the su- the supposed sass- sassy alavanch and how he dresses Dami has been known to shake up the black social media sphere a few times eg for his mason magella boots and flared trousers he said i like dressing in a funky way something just different yet the first thing he hears is it's giving sassy or zesty vibes 
While unbothered, he explained that men have many layers but are afraid to show them if they are perceived as less manly. The paradox is strange. Women want men to be more in touch with their emotions and playful, yet we get called sassy and zesty. Discuss. <laughs> Discuss, 10 marks. Okay. Oh, man, I, 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 I get the, 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 where, where this is coming from. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people will call you fruity so quickly. Mm, for, mm. for, yeah, for, 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 for being expressive. Yeah, yeah. Being in touch with yourself. But you see, I just feel like there's a thin line. There's a very, there's a thin line there. There's mm-hmm. a thin line. Mm. Yeah. And also, also I feel like, you know, depending on the, on the, on the society or, or, or maybe on, on the environment where you're at, mm. you know, some things are more acceptable than others. Mm. You know, it's like when, it's like when, um, you know, it's when, an example is like when I pierced my ears. Mm. When I pierced my ears, like, I knew it really meant nothing for me. Mm. For me, the reason why I actually did it is because I was inspired by so many people growing up mm. that I saw on TV and I met in person mm. who had their ears pierced. Yeah. And I thought it was a cool thing for me to do. Mm-hmm. And that's the only reason I did it. Yeah. But, you know, there was, there's, always, there's always, you know, all these um, quote-unquote st- stories or maybe like, um, you know, about, you know, Okipias Maskios mm. said Moja. Who said they're left? Yeah. I must do Okipias, two Maskios, do any, you know, you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I just, I just think there's, you know, to some extent, some things are beat on the other side, mm. but not always. Because, I mean, people need to be free to express themselves and whatnot. I just feel like, you know, what are you comfortable with? To what extent of creativity and, yeah. you know, um, you know, self-expression are you at? But I think there's a thin line. Yeah, yeah. thin line. Yeah. I think it's one of those things that require balance because I, I, if, if I still feel like... But when you say balance, what, what exactly yeah, what do you does mean? that mean? Yeah. Because you see, it's very, it's very relative because something that means... Uh, something that means some, yeah. you know, yeah. something to you does not hold anything yeah. for me, you know? <laughs> And and especially this yeah. story, I just remembered it because yeah. I went to I went I went to a date about a month ago, mm-hmm. and <laughs> no, maybe about two months ago, and yeah. someone asked me like, "So, why did you pierce your ears?" Nobody mm. has ever asked me that, mm. and I really thought about it. You why know? did you pierce your ears? <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. it's just fashion. Do you, know, do you know the word? There's there's a part uh, where you've talked about the hypocritical element that comes with all of. I think that's the. One thing that's really struck me, like, ah. um, so you'll hear ladies say they want dudes to be in touch with the um, emotions, to be vulnerable and all that stuff. And then you'll hear them say, like, and, and I'll give an example. You hear behind the thing, like, um, see, anapenda kulialia, anapenda mm. complain. Um, there's, there's a lady friend of mine, or, or rather she used to be a friend, who used to, like, and bro, she used to tell us, I... You just cry. If you're feeling something, just cry. And then one time, um, a friend of mine cried because of a girl who had hurt him. This same girl was telling us, mm. You know, and that's from the question. That, that bit is what I... And I think it's something a lot of men struggle with because they know there's that uh, bit that, about it. So a lot of men won't do a lot of things even because it's just because they don't feel safe in those spaces. Because, and you see that thing you're saying about um, t- calling dude sassy. As in, when I'm where, when I go in touch on a certain side, but when you in touch when I'm sassy. So a balance. You see, that's the problem I have with that, find a balance. What's the balance? You know, the, yeah. because the midpoint could be different for you than it is for, for me. For other people. You know. Yeah. Because Loki, I also feel like women like some... And I know this is not a good thing to say, but they also like some, uh, like, I don't know if they are. Okay, let me tell you. No, no, no. no. Drop of toxic masculinity. Oh, no, no. no, no. Let me me, me help you put it. Mm. So maybe what you mean, Mm. uh, maybe you can correct me. Yeah. Mm. It's one of those situations where, like, everybody has a masculine and femininity side in them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, For both men and uh, and, and women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, of course, for women, the the, uh, the more the prominent The percentage side, is high. Yeah, the prominent Okay, one yeah, is, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying right? That's what yeah. I'm saying. So it should be like a, 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 at least 20, 80. Yeah, give 
Robo Tech. Maybe ten ninety. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm I saying. It's like you find a balance. It's I like, totally think it's, it's like you can't be too cry, softish. I mean, it's also... You can't be too cry. Yeah. It's also <laughs> like your girl... You, I hate it. I, 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 I really hate that thing because then what are we saying? You, you see, cry, it's very you cry confusing. a lot. Yeah. You cry a lot. No, but because because I don't want someone to say, oh, let me say, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You get my point. If it's okay, it needs to be okay. Full stop. No? Me, uh, now I feel like, I like crying honest? should be like 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 it's the last resort. Like it's something really yeah, heavy has like, happened. I, like it's the, not like yeah. you're you've lost a deal and all of a but sudden. But this time you're crying. Me, 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 was as you shida. Me, nige kwa nalia. Me, I blame my parents. I can't. Because when you imagine all that macho, you know. But yeah, like it's it's a very bad place to be at as dudes because. You want to people expect you to express yourself fully, but they also want to control how you express yourself. Absolutely, brother. It does. makes no sense. It makes no sense to tell me I want you to express yourself. And then when I do, I'm moaning, I'm crying. What does that mean? I just feel like this is one of those situations where you can never really be get to a destination with. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, just figure your way. Like nobody is ever gonna feel like, you know. F- Fully satisfied mm. with how that's that's the right is. answer. That's the right yeah. answer. That's the right answer. Nobody, we can't all agree. We can't have a universal yeah. agreement that Absolutely. this is the balance. So yeah, everybody yeah, should just yeah. find their balance. But those balance. people who are complaining about it now are gonna double standards. Decide, Chem Nataka. Come on, Nataka, Mona Mena Undumo. Decide. Come on, Nataka, say different. Decide. Pia, this thing of trying to Sasa, do we look like pendo za kazi yetu ni kuswim tunaoscillate every yeah i think yeah. i think you're right we're all very different yeah. unataka ni go for what you want you want me to be a macho man you want me to to be ex, nini, um, expressive expressive what do, excuse me i think this should be communicated even in the early stages of dating yeah, allow me to be as, me. As, as in the talking stages you know oh, yeah. that should be generally yeah. i would say yeah, yeah. i would say men be who you want to be yeah. Don't don't be told who you should be. Find so your balance. Don't be who yeah. you want to be. Don't don't be told yeah. who you should be because I, can you live with yourself? Yeah, it's the people want to control people a lot. Don't don't be who people want you to be. Just be yourself. I agree. I wow, agree. guys, we have um we have a poem here. We, we have a poem. We normally write a poems to all our guests. Okay. So this is for uh charisma. Uh-huh. Ni lazima Unge, unge na charisma. Anyway, it's not a poem. It's a big salon question. <laughs> so let's go. Yeah. What kind of man do you think you are? So we have alpha, we have the beta, we have gamma, we have delta, we have zeta, we have sigma. Let me repeat for my guys who are watching from yeah. Githongori. What kind of man do you think you are? We have alpha, we have beta, we have gamma, we have delta, we have zeta, we have sigma. So let me go through them. Alpha... Alpha males are strong-willed leaders who love to take charge. Exuding charm and and machismo, they're known for their natural confidence and exceptional leadership abilities. Anecdote. Funny English too, Raisi. What happened to simple English? What happened to simple English? It's anecdotally. Right? Is that how you say Barak? But just tell me if that's how you say it. Otherwise, I sort of animaliza our comments. Anecdotally, alpha males are the bad boys of the male ecosystem. They, they know what they want, never back down from a fight. They aren't afraid of making waves to obtain their goals. So ask yourself, are you an alpha male? So better. Uh, better males are extremely kind and down to earth, shyer and more reserved. Better males value personal relationships over material wealth, over career achievements. Pop culture suggests they are great conversationalists and have a lot of success domestically. They're often associated with happy, long-term marriages and children that adore them. Betters are communicative, creative, and they make great romantic partners. Uh. You That's just, better. You just described my best friend, man. Ah, okay. <laughs> so there's gamma. So gamma males are the life of the party. They're equally creative and adventurous. They're often portrayed as fun-loving men of culture. They love to travel and believe their purpose in life is to have fun, rich, fulfilling experiences, ideally in exotic locations. Loud and bombastic, they're constantly on the move and can create powerful friendships wherever they go. Gamma. Delta. Delta males are very responsible and keep the world moving. 
highly adaptable, Delta, Deltas are known for their com- competence and work ethic rather than their leadership and ambition. Delta males love learning new skills for the sake of improving themselves, not for power or extrin- extrinsic success. Because of this, they often have a very healthy work-life balance. They are dependable and unpretentious. Every male friend group benefits from Delta males. Zeta, mezi shika pedi? Isi ni test tumefanya before. Ah, nice. <laughs> Zeta, Miss Jai do test. Zeta, Zeta males are one of a kind progressives. They, they are reason the Zeta, there's a reason the Zeta male is the least talk about personality type in pop culture. They are rare non-conformists who don't care about what other people think. They know themselves and refuse to change to fit in with the rigid social standards of society. Zeta males are fierce creatives who blaze new paths for themselves and others. Kanye West. Kanye? Kanye West. Huh? Sigma. <laughs> Sigma males are confident mentors who play by their own rules. They have all the confidence of alphas, but they aren't interested in power or social status. They have enough life experience to follow their own moral compass and spend their time helping other people discover their inner power. Sigma men's natural wit, intuition, and sense of persuasion and then the respect of their peers, though they are comfortable enough in themselves not to need it. Mm-hmm. So what kind of a man are you? Oh, I start? Um, yeah. And I feel like I knew the answer even before you started. Like, <laughs> honest, I think I've, I'm more on the alpha side. I think, yeah. The bad boy. I mean, no, you picked the. You, you are picked you seeing? The, you picked the wrong. Are you seeing? <laughs> are you seeing what he's doing? Yeah. He said the whole composition, and then he just remembered bad boy. He <laughs> <laughs> buried everything. They are strong will leaders who love to take charge. Yeah. They exuding charm and machismo. They are known for their natural confidence and exceptional leadership skills. Anecdotally, alpha males are the bad boy of the male ecosystem. They know what they want, never back down from a fight, and they aren't afraid of making moves to obtain their goals. Yeah, so, I think yeah. apart from the bad boy bit, I agree with everything. That's me. Yeah. What? Not a bad boy. What, what about you, Manasseh? Alpha. Alpha? Yeah. I'm attached to so many including, things. Including the bad boy part. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we saw your, you saw your Instagram, yeah? <laughs> me as a child of God. <laughs> I don't know. I but feel I like, like Delta also. Delta, is they're very responsible and they keep the world moving. Mm. Highly adaptable deltas are known for their competence and work ethic yeah. rather than leadership and ambition. Delta yeah. males love learning new skills yeah. for the sake of improving themselves. It's a good friend for an alpha. Yeah, yeah. not yeah, for power alpha, or extrinsic yeah. successes. Yeah. Because of this, they often have a healthy work-life balance. They're yeah. dependable and unpretentious. Every male friend group benefits from delta mm. males. Yes, because mm. deltas, deltas are good workers, but yeah. they're not good... Uh, bosses or leaders, Senior. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not they're yeah, not good yeah. leaders. So, um, Sigma is another thing that would be, but for me, like I don't want to be. Sigma would be something I would be, but I I am not okay with not being recognized. Yeah, same. yeah. <laughs> I really want to be recognized. Yeah, same. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. That's the, the only difference yeah. between Sigma and Alpha. Yeah. I'd never do behind the scenes work. Oh no! Ah, no. La, 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 no, 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 no. Me, I want. <laughs> I, I, I want it has to, be show. Known. It has to be known. I did this work. And this this ship is moving because I did. Bro, may I tell people like I even as a musician, I've never been a background vocalist. Mm. Never. Even when I was struggling and I needed that money, just like Swazi kwapo kando mtu mwingine anaimba alafu mimi na kuongezea tu sauti and be seen center stage. Yeah. What? I think I I'd combine a bit of alpha, remove the that bad boy thing, remove the backing down from a fight. <laughs> Then mm. touch of sigma. Um, You'd remove the backing down from a fight. Yeah. But you said one of your problems is... You uh, that I'm working on. Yeah, so you, have you finished working on it? <laughs> he has not finished. He's not finished working on <laughs> it. <laughs> so you're not backing down from fights still a bit. When we were on the break, there's something you did. You are still working <laughs> yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, we are working on it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so. There's, there's a touch of alpha, <laughs> a touch of sigma, yeah. uh, helping others discover their inner power. Um... I'm 50-50 about applause. Sometimes I want it, sometimes I don't. I live for the applause, man. I, okay, Clap I'd say 2080. 80s, I still want it. 20, sometimes I just don't mm, care yeah. about it. Well, for, 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 it depends for what. 
So that. this is um for 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 Sigma, for Sigma they are okay with the respect that they have, yeah. whether you give it to them or not. Yeah. That's that's Sigma's, and then there's also the Zeta, who it's a fierce creative who blazes new paths for themselves. And yeah, I was very conflicted with that one. Yeah, because I think I also that's the one I've not really read about. So I was really conflicted about it. I was like, mm. yeah, I feel like I, I, that's yeah. there's a a lot of me also in that. So yeah. mine is Alpha Sigma and a touch of Zeta. Okay, okay. Alpha, Alpha, yeah. Alpha only Alpha Zeta, Alpha Zeta. Alpha, oh, Alpha Zeta. Yeah. Okay. Let us know who you are as, as yeah. well as a guy. Uh, I, I have one I last know. question. There's oh. you know, on a paper. Sour, sour. Turn the, turn the charisma. <laughs> what is a superficial quality? You, I think this is a good question to finish. Yeah? Mm. What is a superficial quality you think is manly that you wish you were better at? Superficial quality that you think is manly that you wish you were better Be honest, at? Honestly, I just wish I was... Like, I don't think I'm short, but sometimes when I meet six foot three people, <laughs> I'm just like, I wish I was like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell me, me too. I wish I was so tall. one inch, man. You're stuff in any bow, man. Has in any pet You're five what? Eleven, man. Five eleven? In any cat here. Did you see it on Instagram? Yeah. Or maybe on the socials? Yeah. Is that guy who like did that procedure to, mm. to get taller? Oh, really? Yeah, but it's it's oh, it's, it's becoming a, a thing in India. But it's actually. annoyingly expensive and also it's very painful. painful. And it's also where they, make sense they, because they they add like an inch or from something. your joints. I yeah. just want to say, if I have that money, I'm going to be six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I have That's the money, I'm, you'll find a six feet charisma. Yo, how tall are you? I'm six two. Hey, yeah. Do you have to shout? No, no, no. You can just say it. The mic is so close to you. Six two. Hey. Ah, I don't get your shout. Ladies on a check here. Yeah. Come on again. New verse is eleven. Uh, what's the question? <laughs> yeah. So what's a superficial? <laughs> what's a superficial <laughs> quality you think is valid that you wish you were better at? A superficial trait. Yeah. Quality. Qu- quality. I, I wish. I wish I was a, a good uh, workmanship. Like neza tengi neza to v two. Oh, like you can make like a nice DIY desk. person. DIY. Yeah. Like I wish I was the DIY. Yeah, quite Bambi. <laughs> no, genuinely. <laughs> like, superficial. Superficial. Well, superficial. Yeah. That sounds like something you can even turn into a job, but like, we're talking Apa, about superficial. Na, na tengi, na tuvi, tuvi, but na joy yako, yako unaza land. Yangu wakuna kitu unaza do ya. Yako unaza land. Tuwako petu za kuchangia, tuwako fungia go fund me. Make charisma taller. Na kitu ingine ni kwa buff. Oh. But that's, yeah, that's a thing for sure. Unless you kunda kunda enda gym ni pare muscles, ata ngo stawaiva. Me by the kuna level of muscles if I ever attain, what is a shirt for? <laughs> it makes no sense. Walking without a shirt every day. What about you, Manas? What's a superficial thing, you, manly uh, thing you wish you had? Man, I don't think that's something I really thought about. I'm even trying to think mm. about it now. Mm. Mm. I think it's coming up. Manasi ako perfect man. Ah, see, Maze manasi ako perfect. Eh, resisi short so boys. Should think that that. Ah. Yeah, but first we compensate with a lot of things, humor, necessary <laughs> comments. Apart <laughs> kosa. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, I want to yeah. thank you so much for coming through. This has been an amazing, amazing show. Thank this you, is man. like I'm sure this is almost two hours now. Oh yeah. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much thank you. for gracing this show. More appreciate sana. Thanks, man. Make sure you check out Charisma's new song. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. Our Sina Noma, my guy. My guy. And for you, what, 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 what do you wanna what do you wanna promote? You have so much. Uh, Instagram really, is creating some really nice stuff. I really don't want to promote anything. <laughs> I really don't want to promote anything. Kuna kitu zana kuse mo na kuwa na sana. Na pa na yu content yu kofa. Niko to yu gym yaku blog. Kuto kaka mara. Oh, you know. Hey, like you need to work out. Hey, I mean, like yo. Last man do video ni kitembe aivo. Uh, nice yeah. one. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, make sure you subscribe. We are road to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, Jared, Campus Tour is coming to a campus near you, especially if you are outside Nairobi. My name is Ben Psycho. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Jared Podcast. Adios.